Hello everyone, welcome to another Creative Crafts Niche video. Today here I'm sharing with you a Valentine's Day card that I did. Um, replicating the uh, Cricut uh, Valentine's Day card that they did with the dinosaur. Um, what I did was on this red cardstock, I laid all this stuff down on it, cut it out, and then all the... Uh, the black parts will are here. So I'm gonna go through the card with you. So um, for beginning with the heart, I went to page 49 of the Creator Critter Handbook, and let me see. Yes, right here. And I used the uh, shift button and I selected that there. And um, then I went to page 58. Well, I didn't go to the pages. These are the items that I selected. And I got these noodles right here. Sorry, my lighting is very off today. Okay, anyways, I got these two noodles right here, and then I hid one, and I used I used the other one. So I did that three times to give me the length that I needed for the uh, balloon, the string of the balloon, and then. Okay, for the dinosaur, I got this dinosaur from page 51, and that's this one right here, and so, um, let's see, that's layer one, so I selected him, and then I also used layer three. And then if you really look close on it, there's like these two little white lines there. I hid those two white lines. And then I just layered it, just like it. You see how it is here, how it's close to the edge? I moved it over some and up some. And so like that, it'll fit lining it out the way it did here. Actually, the way it did there. Then for the envelope, I went to let's see, you go to page 48. Yes, 48, and I used the this layer from the kite, so that's shift layer one. And I skewed it, so I basically, you know, moved it like that to make it more of a, to look more like the envelope. Because I was trying to make this whole um, card just using the Creative Critter cartridge. And so I end up with the, uh, the card here. And then the heart for the card, I got that from page 36. 36 and that was shift phrase so shift phrase shift phrase gives me this heart right here and that heart is kind of you know where one side is taller than the other and so that's that heart right there now for um, the inside where I got this thought cloud I got that from page 28. 28. And that's this one right here. And we just hit the phrase button. And um, what I did was I stretched it out 
and I shortened it. So this is a three and a half by one and a half. And then for the uh, for this for this layer right here to get it where the corners were rounded, I used the um, I used this image from the ba Cricut Craft Room Basics. And so it basically gives you a square with round edges. And so what I did was I stretched it out to be a five and a quarter by four. And then I lined everything up to to that image. So I I put butt this up against um, the uh, 0.25 measurement on the Cricut Craft Room. And then I did the same thing with this image. And then here I also butted him up against the corner there because I wanted it to look just like the card that's online. Now um, for the inside sentiment, this right here, that measures a three and a quarter by three and a quarter and then I just used my corner um, punch and I rounded out those edges. And then um, I decorated the inside with the uh, with the, the pieces from here. And what I did was I used my metallic gray marker and kind of marked it off there to make it look shiny. And then I also um, colored in the string and then I made it look like it was um, tied off right there with the same gray metallic marker. For this. Um, Happy Valentine's Day um, sentiment stamp. It's a wooden stamp from Craftsmart. And I got that at Michael's. And then in the front where it says just for you, I got this from Inka Dika Do Celebration Expressions. Um, I'm going to also add to the description everything that, I, that I've used for this card. So this is my card. I hope you like it. And um, if you would like a uh, CCR copy of this project, um, you can go ahead and join my, um, my group on Facebook. It's called Cricut Crafts, and I'm gonna, I have a link on my channel on the sidebar. It'll take you directly to there. All you have to do is request to join. And then um, I have a whole bunch of files there of work projects that I've put together that I've shared um, from the Cricut Craft Room. So thank you so much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.